There's so much discussion nowadays about how important it is to feel safe in our relationship with our primary partners and with the other people we feel close to and we love. But there is not nearly enough discussion about how we need to make sure that the people that we love, the people that we are close to, feel safe in our presence. In other words, we need to ensure that we are protecting the people who we care about the most from our worst behaviors. Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Trevor Brown and you are watching The Other Therapy. Today we're gonna to be talking about relationship, relational dynamics. Specifically, I wanna talk about the way that we might unknowingly, inadvertently, be hurting the people that we love. Now, oftentimes we're not totally tuned into the fact that we're doing this because we're so absorbed in our own feelings of pain or hurt or mistreatment. And we're so locked into a story that's placing the blame out here that we're really only focusing most of our energy on how this person isn't treating us the way we wanna be treated or how this person is making us feel bad about ourselves or something like that. We're not asking ourselves a much more useful question, in my opinion, which is how do I unknowingly cause pain to this person who I love so much? To give ourselves a framework for approaching this rather difficult question, I'm gonna give a, a metaphor. It's a metaphor of the psyche. It's don't take it literally, but I do find that it's useful with many of my clients. So we're gonna divide the psyche into three parts. We're gonna call these the wise adult, the adaptive child, and the wounded child. The wise adult is the part of us that I'm probably speaking to right now. If you're listening to this video, you're likely in your wise adult self. The wise adult is the prefrontal cortex, the front part of the brain. This part of the brain is very nuanced in its thinking. It's very open, it's engaging, it's warm. It can take different positions. It can hold different ideas simultaneously. It's not black and white. It's not all or nothing. It's compassionate, empathetic. It's the part that can do relationship really well. It's the part that can treat yourself really well and treat the world and the people you come into contact with really well. We have two other parts, the wounded child and the adaptive child. Let's start with the wounded child. The wounded child is the part of our psyche that gets activated when emotions are triggered that we wish we didn't have to feel. They're the really painful, really raw, incredibly sensitive emotional material that was activated a long, long, long time ago, thus wounded child. And it still lives in our system as a potentiality. And every now and then, life circumstances are such that that potential gets triggered. Think of it like a wire of our very sensitive, very painful emotional material. And sometime life or somebody trips that wire, thus activating what we're calling here a wounded child. The wounded child is all of our core vulnerabilities, our very painful emotions that all of us have, but none of us want to feel. Now let's move into our adaptive child. The adaptive child is the part of us that came online developmentally after the wound, after the wounded child. So maybe around six or seven or 10 or 15, we learned some series of adaptations that helped protect us from the overwhelming vulnerability of the wounded aspect. So when we felt that way as children, the overwhelming sensitivity, the wounded child part, then we learned a variety of mechanisms to protect ourselves from feeling the full intensity of that emotion. And these mechanisms are certain ways of behaving, there are certain ways of thinking, there are certain ways of being or showing up or not showing up in the world. That's what we call the adaptive child. The adaptive child has one goal and one goal only, and that's to get out of the painful emotional material. It's to distance, find a way to distance from the wounded child. It's survival level. It's like, oh gosh, all this pain is up. I'm feeling maybe incredibly sad or angry or lonely and it's overwhelming. Adaptive child comes online and it serves as a, a protection against that material. Now here's the thing with the adaptive child. Because its only goal is to get out of the painful emotional material, its only goal is survival, really. It is not a nuanced thinker. It doesn't take the time to consider what's happening. 
to look at the multiple alternatives, to consider different ways of engaging in a certain situation and then choosing the best of the ways. No, it just, it's automatic, it's reactive, it's impulsive, it's compulsive, it's black and white, it's all or nothing, it's not nuance, it can't empathize, it can't take a different approach, it can't hold a different perspective. It's, I need to survive, I'm going to survive, whatever it takes, come hell or high water, no matter the pain that's inflicted on anybody else around me, I need to get myself to a place where I feel better. Now you might be seeing, you might be starting to see how this could come alive in adult relationship, the, this dynamic, these three parts of the psyche. Let's say that we're just with our partner and our partner asks a question that triggers a sensitivity. Sometimes it can be a very benign question. Hey, would you mind taking the laundry out? Sometimes it might be a little bit more pointed and piercing. Hey, why didn't you call me today? You, you never call me. And that might very quickly activate this person's sensitivities. Their difficult emotions they don't, that they don't wanna feel. Maybe they feel exposed or they feel like a failure or they feel inadequate. Those come online in a flash, but just as quickly their adaptation, their adaptive response comes online. Now the point of this adaptive response is to get the person out of the vulnerable emotional level experience that just got activated. And so now they're going to defend against their partner or attack their partner, the person who just triggered this vulnerability. So the adaptation, the way it actually looks is gonna vary from individual to individual, and it's a product of their life history, but oftentimes it might look like retaliation. You never take the laundry out, why are you asking me? Or you never call me, so why do I have to call you? Maybe it looks like an attack. Maybe it looks like withdrawal. It, they put up a wall and they're just inaccessible. Maybe it looks like they try to be right. Well, you didn't ask me to call you. How can I know that I'm supposed to call you? I was just doing what, what I thought I was supposed to be doing. But any number of these strategies are about protecting themselves, but it's gonna feel like an attack to the person over here who asked the question. And so that's what I mean. When I say we need to think more about how we need to protect our partner or the people we care about from ourselves, this is what I'm talking about. We need to be sure that we are not inflicting our adaptive responses, our adaptive child onto our partner. Because whenever we do, it is going to hurt our partner. It's not kind, it's not warm, it's not considerate, it's not thoughtful, it's not loving. It's mean-spirited, it's harsh, it's all or nothing, it's me versus you. So the work in couples therapy, or the work if you are an individual who's watching this, is to become aware, get really intimately familiar with that adaptive part of you and the sorts of behaviors that it would have you act out and find a way to put yourself in between your partner who's over here and the adaptive child part of you who's right here. You bring your wise adult self online, you stand in between, you put a boundary around this part of you, then you find a way to respond to your partner with kindness and with love and with warmth. That is how we're gonna change fundamentally the relationships that we find ourselves in. When we look for the change to come from the outside, when we point the finger out here, when we put blame out here, we're not gonna get very far. But when we do whatever we can to assume full responsibility for treating our partner well and holding our adaptive responses at bay, that is when transformational, relational, and personal change is gonna to start to appear. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or any thoughts, please leave them in the comments. I'm happy to make a follow-up video if you feel that I forgot to mention something. Thank you for your time and for your attention, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.